Hello, uh, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and this morning I want to talk to you just a little bit about Windows PowerShell. So the cool thing about Windows PowerShell is that we're now in version 5, and so this means that Windows PowerShell has been around for quite a while. So the cool thing about this is that working with uh, Windows PowerShell, you know, one you know, gets to kind of see the future, if you will. So with Windows PowerShell 1, which came out like nearly seven years ago, it was kind of a little bit like, um, I don't know, VB script. You know, we had com stuff that we could do, but, you know, there was WMI. But, you know, other than WMI and ADSI, you know, there wasn't really a lot of remoting. Then in Windows PowerShell 2, we added in remoting. Uh, we added in a script editor. You know, we added modules and stuff like that. Uh, PowerShell 3, we added in, you know, workflow, which was like really cool and gave us a very powerful tool that we could use that could survive reboots and allow us to configure stuff that would work with different things like that. And then 4 gave us desired state configuration and 5 added in classes and all of that. So what you can see is that with every version of Windows PowerShell, we continue to add new features and it just keeps getting better and more powerful as we work with this stuff. So, yeah, the thing is that, um, yeah, I know I've been doing IT for a while, and, you know, I look at stuff and I think, well, yeah, you know, I mean, I can still remember, you know, some of the different things that I learned at Tech Ed that, like, you know, kind of, like, really never, you know, came about. I mean, they were there, but, you know, they didn't really you know, pan out, you know, or, you know, bear fruit, you know, that wasn't worth my time in trying to uh, learn some of this stuff. You know, but with Windows PowerShell, you know, we, we're now in version 5, so, you know, we know it's going to be around for a while. We've even seen, you know, betas of, um, you know, Windows Server 2016, and PowerShell is there as well. So it's just going to keep getting better and better. You know, the thing is, yeah, it's it's time to learn what is PowerShell. You know, so if you haven't started learning it, you know, you need to because it's you know, it's there. Whether you're working with Exchange, you know, on premises or in the cloud, you know, whether you're working with SharePoint on premises in the cloud, Active Directory on premises in the cloud, you know, any of our cloud uh, technology, you know, virtualization, containers, nano server, you know, whatever. You know, Windows PowerShell is there, and it's going to, you know, let us continue to work with it and continue to manage this stuff. So, yeah, this is this is stuff that, you know, we need to learn. Yeah, and, you know, the sooner that you learn it, you know, the better, A, that, you know, it'll begin to bear fruit, and, B, you know, you'll be ready when the next version and stuff comes around and the new features are added. Yeah, so you know, with uh, with DevOps, you know, it's you know, it's expected, you know, that we're gonna do a little bit of development and you know, we're gonna do you know, some operations. You know, so it's kind of um you know, a hybrid approach if you will. Um the thing is that, you know, with the number of servers that are continuing to grow and with virtualization that makes it, you know, very easy for us to quickly add, you know, additional servers, you know, we can't be you know, mouse click, 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 you know, like we used to do 25, 30 years ago when there were one or two servers that were, that were around. Now there's like thousands of servers and we can spin up several hundred, you know, just like that or, you know, spin down several, th uh, several hundred just like that. Everything's virtualized and the pace is faster and faster. So, we do a little bit of scripting or development, you know, to you know, to give us the you know ability to perform repetitive tasks quickly. And as we do, you know, then you know we can we can save that. So the work isn't lost; uh, it just you know continues to grow, to change, to morph. Yeah, you know, and we need to be able to do this you know quickly and efficiently. Yeah, you know, as we you know go through this stuff. So anyway, you know. I still think think it's a little bit funny, you know, when I'm reading on the blog and you know, or a blog somewhere, and somebody will start off and saying, "Oh, well, there's this new scripting language for Microsoft, dude. It's been around for like over seven years." So, yeah, it's it may have been you know a long, long, long time ago. I mean, seven years is a long time anyway. If you think about it in internet years or even doggy years, I mean, it's like, yeah, dude, yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, you know, so yeah. You're not going to get away from it. You know, it's there, and you're going to continue to see it. And there's a lot of really cool, exciting things that just continues to, to show and continues to be around. So, you know, what is PowerShell? Dude, it's there. It's for the win. You know, embrace it. Um, so 
I'm Ed Wilson, Microsoft Scripting Guy, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.